You have a question? Google it. This is the source of all answers. Do you know how to do a patent search in Google? I'm patent attorney, J.D. Hoovener, managing partner here at Bold Patents Law Firm. It's my honor to be here to talk with you about how to structure a patent search in Google. I'm gonna go through this and share my screen with you, going through click by click to walk you through the different tips, tools, fields to enter, so you can do the diligence that it takes to make sure that your invention is novel, making sure that you're confident before you take the next step in talking with a patent attorney. Before we get started, I wanna let you know that we do have some timestamps along the way, so you can fast forward this video to different parts of this advanced Google patent search tool. You'll see that I'll be moving my mouse around, you'll see the screen, so you're probably gonna watch the whole thing from start to finish if you can, but if your time's short, you gotta just get to the good stuff, look at down below, you're gonna see the different indexes you can move to and forward ahead. You can see up here, we're gonna share with you an image of Google Patents. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through kind of the steps I took to do the filtering involved in doing a Google Patents search. So go to uh, patents.google.com and you'll be able to see a, a really nice interface and it looks a lot like the regular Google interface, but this search is just for patents. So just type in some keywords. I mean, for me, I typed in American flag. That's it. Uh, when the search results pop up, you'll see on the left side of the page the ability to add in filters. Um, I added just a few simple filters and I was able to get to exactly what I wanted. Um, on the bottom of that, there's a little selection where you can, you can type in whether it's a granted patent or just one that's been published. So little, little nuances about what that means is that um, many times uh, patent applications get submitted to the patent office, but the examiner for whatever reason says, uh -uh, this is not new. Or you know, they basically say, look, this, is, this version has been done before and this is just another iteration of it and therefore it's obvious under 35 section 103. And it's just been listed as a publication. Um, or, you know, it's, uh, what happens is after 18 months of filing an application, it gets published, the application does, it becomes part of the public knowledge. Uh, and so it's probably on its way to getting issued, we just haven't seen it yet. So whether it's stalled out, become abandoned, or on its way to issuance, publications uh, are an interesting way to get a broader net search. Um, I was interested in just those patents that have already been granted and issued, right? Those that have legal authority, have rights vested in them. So I selected grant, and you can do the same too. Um, if you look down there further, you can see whether you wanna have a uh, utility patent or a design patent. For whatever reason, Google calls utility patents, quote, patents, and design patents, design. So uh, I, I selected design when I was gonna go look for uh, you know, the first invention uh, with the, with the three-dimensional stars. Uh, and then I looked for utility patents, uh, patents in terms of the Google search, uh, in order to get the other two inventions, one for the antenna mounted flag and the other for the mechanically driven uh, waving flag. So you can see those two elements are selected. There's another unique field that actually allows you to put a date range in as to when they, that publication was submitted or when the patent was granted. Um, here I wanted to take a look at some older patents so I didn't decide to put any date limitations on it. So that's it, folks. It's really that easy. Google has made it incredibly fast to be able to get these search results. Um, and so once you find the result you want, um, let's just click on this one example on the next page I'm gonna show you here. Uh, after you click into that desired result, you can simply download the PDF, the full original uh, PDF of the patent itself right there from within Google. Just click on the download button and you can see that document come up home through the first page of the patent, just like you were on the USPTO.gov website, uh, just in a whole lot quicker manner, um, able to get through that tree using the search terms, uh, as I mentioned before. Thank you so much for being a part of this advanced Google patent search. It's been awesome to be able to share with you the screen and look at what I'm doing in terms of ways that you, I recommend you get in there and supplement the, the way that you're able to approach this right from the very beginning to do the homework and the diligence it takes to research your invention and make sure that what you've got is gonna make a big difference in the world. I'm J.D. Hoovener, your patent attorney here at Bold Patents. It's an honor to share with you this content and to be with you here on this video. Have a great day, everybody. Go big, go bold.
Go Bowl.